And uh, before I conclude, a lot of the brothers were asking me about the Willish uh, assassination in London where two alleged Muslims uh, stabbed and hacked uh, a British soldier to death in the middle of the day in front of everybody and they were saying Allahu Akbar we will pay you will pay and we will keep on doing this as long as you're killing our Muslims uh, brothers and sisters worldwide so what's the ruling on it well first of all I will not talk about the Hizb or the party these men are alleged to be associated with which is Hizb al-Muhajirin which is an offshoot of Hizb al-Tahrir because both Hizbs, both parties are uh, not part of Ahl al-Sunnah wal-Jama'ah and they have a problem in uh, their manhaj and methodology and they have a problem in everything that they're related to uh, they are well known to do takfir and to do the night patrol I think and where they go to the Christians coming out of pubs and, and they say you have to fear Allah you, you go to hell what I, I, I'm not going to talk about that but what's the ruling on killing a, a British soldier who probably served in Afghanistan or in Iraq maybe he killed someone of the Muslims and so is it justice to do what we're doing to that to him first of all this is not permissible full stop and no matter what the justifications you have it is not permissible in Islam the Prophet والسلام, he is our leader and he is our role model one of the vicious and fierce enemies of Islam and the Muslims and the Prophet Islam was Abu Sufyan ibn Harb and yet he came to Medina and the Prophet gave him uh, 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 safety to come and talk to him and leave and all the companions of the Prophet was saying that oh our swords did not take care of that man we should have slaughtered him we should have chopped him yet no one had done this why? because the Prophet did not allow this and he gave him the safety and security so we have treaties and we have uh, uh, peace agreements etc that has that have to be honored providing that these two assailants were not uh, uh, UK citizens apparently they are UK citizens so even for UK citizens it is not permissible to kill someone by cheating him and by such treachery this is a betrayal of the covenants between people and between us as strangers or foreigners and the UK government the Prophet ﷺ, Abdullah ibn Ubay ibn Salul the head of the hypocrites Allah revealed a whole chapter about the hypocrites mentioning him and what he had said yet the Prophet ﷺ did not allow any of his companions to kill him and when he was asked O Prophet of Allah allow me to kill him he said no people must not talk and say that Muhammad is killing his companions which means that as Muslims we have to look into the conclusions so even if, and this is a big IF, even if, hypothetically, that it was permissible to kill this man, this man, and it is not permissible by no means, because even if we have a treaty with the kafir, the disbelievers, the Prophet says, Allah Azza wa commanded his Prophet that if you feel that there would be a sort of treachery or betrayal from their side, your feeling does not allow you to launch war because I can have the benefit of the first strike Allah tells the Prophet no such treachery or betrayal is forbidden so what should I do you should go to them send to them a message telling them that the pact or the con uh, uh, the treaty that was between us is no more and now we have no treaty we can fight 
So you, you cannot betray someone. You cannot uh, cheat someone and killing him like this. If you want to kill someone in an army and you have an army, then it is to be on the battlefield. Not to stab him from behind or to do something like this. This is cowardness. So the act itself is forbidden totally and it's prohibited completely and the consequences prove that what they had done was against Islam look at the attacks that the masjids had under, uh, uh, undergone to look at the women who were forced to take their veils and the uh, 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 hooligans and the right wing uh, lunatics uh, started to attack on the streets why? because of an incident that two lunatics did and they claim that this is related to Islam and no one says that this is related to Islam this has nothing to do with Islam at all and unfortunately this is what the media does now when this uh, uh, Norwegian guy went on a shooting spree and he killed like 200 people and blown up a building and went to another island and, and started shooting the youth no one said that he's a right wing Christian no he's a lunatic okay why don't you call these two people lunatic and instead insist that calling them that they're Muslims they have nothing to do with Islam and what do they know about, know about Islam Ya yeah, bring them in front of me and let me give them 10 questions about how to purify themselves or how to perform wudu or how to perform prayer they are ignorant they are people that were put there to infiltrate Islam and to give a bad image about Islam so in short these peop th this incident does not relate to Islam these people are definitely lunatics to do such a thing and uh, uh, I pray to Allah Azza wa Jal that he would grant us the knowledge and the wisdom to deal with such uh, uh, people and Allah knows best sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala abdihi wa rasulihi nabina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh